cuts that stem from the past with trauma, hurt, the words that we've had encountered in our lives with mental health, or when it comes to doubt and worry, all those aspects play a part in our healing. And it contributes to conditions like anxiety, panic attack, depression, that actually affect us when it comes to our mental health. So today, I want to teach you some breathing techniques that can help you in a pinch. What's up everyone? It's me, Kiana Marie with Healing Hearts For Real. Please make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Healing Hearts, you know, we like to focus on healing the way God intended, and that is spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And today's focus is going to be on how we heal the remedy from cuts and bruises as a human being. You know that sometimes it's hard to stop the bleeding. Then you have to think about the healing aspect. And when it comes to how we move and how we function with those bruises and cuts physically, where do we go to get the healing we need? For some, they may attend to a doctor or physician. And still, there may be some who may feel like they can mend it themselves. Now, when you think about it, to you handling it on your own, you have to do a little research, do a little planning, and find out what's best for you in that pain, right? Whichever route you choose, which one do you think would be best? The real remedy would be the way that includes letting God in to release a treatment plan, in a sense, that will best suit your needs when it comes to your mental health. The same way with those cuts that stem from the past with trauma, hurt, the words that we've had encountered in our lives with mental health, or when it comes to doubt and worry, all those aspects play a part in our healing. And it contributes to conditions like anxiety, panic attack, depression, different disorders, trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder. Those are things that actually affect us when it comes to our mental health. So today, I want to teach you some breathing techniques that can help you in a pinch. And one is called the 478. You're going to exhale completely through your mouth and you're gonna make a whoosh sound. You're gonna close your mouth and you're gonna inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. So do that. Let's breathe in, count to four, and release. Breathe in, count to four, hold it for seven, and now blow out and count to eight. Repeat doing that. This is to help you when it comes to those moments when it's kind of tight for you, when you're feeling like you're overwhelmed. I want you to keep focused on your breathing when it comes to the exercise and the counting and notice the place of relaxation and the calming peace that comes over you when you slow your mind down. That's the whole point of this technique in a sense as far as breathing, four, seven, eight. So remember, you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna to count to four and you're gonna hold it for seven and you're gonna release it for eight. Got it? Four, seven, eight, breathing. That is a technique I want you to try. Make sure you remember that your mental health matters and that's what this exercise is for you to focus on today. And also to remember that God loves you. He wants you to make sure you keep your mental space in a place of peace and know that it is okay to seek professional help. Try the breathing technique. I hope this has been helpful for you guys and I will see you next time.